So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mel Herbert here from Talking Tesla. Look, you're at home and you're charged with your AC adapter, right? That's great. And it's great because you can do it overnight. But if you're going to go, I don't know, on a big trip, you want to put something a little bit beefier into your car. I mean, you really need something of a DC nature. That's a supercharger. Superchargers charge incredibly quickly. But as you know, if you watch the show, I'm anxious about them. Is there enough, particularly with Model 3 coming? Well, let's go to Cattleman. Cattleman, California, where they just opened the world's largest, no, it's now the second largest supercharger in the world with 40 stalls. Let's go. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Cattleman, California. You get off the five freeway, which is the big freeway, which goes sort of up the middle of California into Oregon and up the Vancouver. And uh, yeah, you've got a gas station on the corner, of course, uh, but you've got a Carl's Jr. and that makes it, yeah, because you love Carl's Jr. But then you see the big T. You see the big T in the distance and you know you're ever so close. So this is the first open 40 stall charger in the US. There's another one coming to Baker. California and so you can see all the solar panels right there which is making you very excited lots more Tesla signs and a lot of charging stalls 40 stalls to charge your car and you'll notice almost nobody's there it's uh, us plus uh, just a couple of other people uh, a great Tesla backing up right now some of these stalls you uh, pulled in front ways some of you uh, you pull in back ways so I pull in front ways because I can't park so as we pan around, what you see is a bunch of supercharger stations. Now, these are the standard ones. They are 135 kilowatts that are split between the A and B pillar. So you, the maximum theoretical that you can get is 120 kilowatts on a charge. And we got about 110 when we were there. Lots of solar panels. In the past, I estimated that with all of these solar panels, there's basically six of these giant shade structures with solar panels all over them. I estimated in the past that they could probably do purely on solar, about 50 cars, 50% charge. Turns out that these panels are actually larger than standard residential panels, so that might be a significant underestimate. And at the one corner of this uh, big lot, you'll see behind a, a big structure there, lots and lots of power packs that are at least in part helping charge those cars. Um, I'm not sure there's enough to do 40 cars at once in there, but certainly enough to do peak loads. And so as you can see from my app here, I got about 110 kilowatts, which some people were concerned about because they'd been to Cattleman and they weren't getting a fast rate of charge, but we certainly did. Now, there's also a couple of standard Tesla chargers. I guess they're expecting if all 40 bays are taken, you can just charge at about 50 miles of range per hour on just a standard AC charger. Now, let's walk into the lounge area because people want to know what this is like. So this is the entrance or one of the entrances to the lounge area and you get hit, hit by this thing. You've got to put in a code, a special code to get in there. And it turns out this code you can find in your car. So if you get in your car and you tap on the Kettleman supercharger icon, it'll give you that code 05, pound for the lounge. I don't know how often they'll change this, but I talked to another gentleman that was there charging and his code was exactly... Uh, the same. So when you go in, you get the, what you'd expect. You've got a nice lounge area here with some nice chairs. You've got some sort of games that you can play on the wall there with the kids. You've got some sort of what I would call high-end vending machines with various foods and sandwiches and drinks. Um, lots of different ways to pay with lots of different cards and Apple Pay and this kind of stuff. There was Wi-Fi, but as my son found out, um, that Wi-Fi password was not working at the time, which is a bit of a bummer. The bathroom, super clean. Yeah, I took video and pictures in the bathroom. Super clean. There is an exit uh, push button if you get stuck in there. And there is a Dyson dry, which I found ironic because Dyson has now said they're going to build electric cars. There is also, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a barista station. So I'm not sure of the hours, but uh, when we were there, there was a person making coffee. And it was quite lovely, even though I don't uh, drink coffee myself. There's also merch, merchandise store. So you can buy stuff at the merchandise store. It is not inexpensive to buy t-shirts and jackets there, but uh, you can if you want. And the coffee has fun names like Ludicrous Mode Espresso, for example. But that's not all. There's also a big LED panel that is showing you the supercharging that's occurring throughout the world, the most used superchargers, which I find really kind of interesting. And there's maps across the world of all the superchargers. Just sort of a fun thing to go and look at while you're waiting for your car to charge. There's also an area for Tesla Energy, which is showing off uh, the solar panels, which is showing off actually a Tesla power wall. And you can go and configure just like you can online how many you would need to power your house for how long for backup. Um, so that's also a kind of a fun thing uh, to play with. 
So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's the Cattleman Supercharger. It's huge. It can do a whole bunch of cars at once. And uh, we had a great time there. We went back and visited it again on the way home at night. And here's just some of the chargers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Cattleman Supercharger is up. It's running. There's some pretty cool amenities. And there needs to be. Because there ain't much else in Cattleman, let me tell you.